good day and welcome to our Monday devotion. Uh, we're going through the Bible. Uh, we're going to, uh, the title of our devotion put out for today is Victory Through Adversity. So join me in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, we come before you once again this day. Thankful, Lord God, again for your word that is always so encouraging, so comforting, gives us strength and direction and enlightenment, Lord God. And so, Father God, I pray that uh, through today's word, Lord God, and once again, that you will touch us, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So we're going through the Bible. We're in our Acts uh, part eight. The title of our devotion for today is Victory Through Adversity. So let's first read Acts chapter 18, verse 9 to verse 10 from the New International Version. It says, One night the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision. Do not be afraid. Keep on seeking. Do not be silent, for I am with you, and no one is going to attack you and harm you, because I have many people in this city. Now this is a very comforting promise of God. This is uh, the devotion especially when we see in the light of the current circumstances in this world where there are signs of hopelessness and gloom all around. Paul was in a situation where he was facing severe opposition. Acts chapter 18 verse 6 demonstrates the state of mind that Paul was in. He, was obviously, he obviously must have been in fear of what was happening. Hence, the promise of the Lord saying, do not be afraid. Here the Lord does not say that Paul will not face opposition, but despite the opposition, they will not be successful in harming him. Isn't that reassuring for us to know that it isn't about the absence of opposition and struggles in life, and that despite that, we are never alone because God is with us and walking us through it. With this great comfort and strength, Paul remained in Corinth for one and a half years, preaching the Word of God. That is victory. The prayer for today's devotion goes like this. Heavenly Father, when everything, around, when everything else around me seems to be against me, help me to rest in the promise that you are a God who will never leave me nor forsake me, and that I'm never alone in Jesus' name. Amen. Your assignment for today is to read Acts chapter 18 to, verse, uh, to chapter 19. So Acts 18 and 19. So this uh, devotion is a very encouraging devotion. You know, because how many times did you feel so alone in the midst of your trials and your struggles? I'm sure there were times in your life that you felt alone, that no one was with you in the midst of your trials and struggles. And how many times did you feel that the situation you were facing was a hopeless situation? Again, I'm sure that every one of us and every one of you listening to this devotion, that you faced a situation in life that seemed uh, hopeless, that it seemed like a hopeless situation, and that you will never get through it in victory. And how many times you, were you overwhelmed by fear because of uncertainty and the fear of the unknown future? Again, I'm sure that every one of us was overwhelmed uh, by uncertainty, you know, not knowing what's going to happen next, a fear of the unknown future. And how many times did you feel that you were surrounded by the attacks of the enemy and felt trapped and felt that there was no way out? Now, I'm sure that all of us uh, felt surrounded at one time. You know, there's so many attacks happening at the same time uh, that we felt trapped and we felt that there was absolutely no way out. I'm going to share with you my experience. This is a recent one uh, during the pandemic. So aside from the pandemic, I've shared this many times. That was a time that Margie got in an accident and was bedridden for a year. And also that was a time that Pastor Jimmy was diagnosed with stage four cancer. On top of that, other big problems arose and other small problems arose all happening at the same time. And I felt surrounded by the attacks of the enemy. I felt overwhelmed by the attacks of the enemy. It was a spiritual battle. The enemy was coming against 
me and the church, us the church, in a strong way. The attacks was strong. The battle was mental as I struggled to keep an alert mind and a mind of peace in the midst of turmoil. It was also an emotional battle, watching the pain of people close to my heart, yet having to be strong for their sake and for the sake of the church as well. It was also a physical battle, as I struggled to stay strong physically with all the workload uh, placed upon me, as well as to keep uh, free from COVID. So it was a physical struggle as well. And I remember asking the Lord, what's next? But the last, during that time, and I was asking the Lord, Lord, what's next? And I also remember asking myself, can I handle much more? So I remember telling myself that. I remember telling myself, can I, can I take any more? Can I handle much more? Now, during that time, giving up never came to mind. Quitting never came to mind. But the thoughts did come to mind. Could I handle much more? And the thoughts came to mind also was, when will, this, when will it all end? Now, looking back, I thank God that he brought me all the way through. He didn't leave me, nor did God forsake me. He didn't leave me halfway through. He didn't bring me halfway through and leave me. He didn't lead me three-fourths of the way and then expected me to finish the race on my own or finish the, the next or overcome the trials on my own. He didn't take me 99% of the way through and expected me to do the 1% on my own. He led me all the way through, not halfway not three-fourths of the way, not 99, even 0.9% of the way through. He led me all the way through. God stayed with me and led me all the way through. He made sure that I made it to the other side of the storm. I remember the story in the Bible when Jesus asked his disciples to get in the boat because they were going to go on the other side of the lake. And a storm came against them. Jesus was asleep in the back, of the, sh uh, the back of the boat, and the disciples were, were crying out in fear, saying that they were going to drown and die. And Jesus rebuked the storm. He got up. He rebuked the storm, and they made it across the, the river, and they made it across safely. In the same way, God is going to make sure that we make it across every storm. He's going to make sure that he takes us all the way through, not halfway through, not three-fourths of the way through, not 99% of the way through, not even 99.9% .9 of the way through. He's not expecting us to do things on our own. He's going to be with us all the way through in every trial and every struggle that we face, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. God is going to be with us, and he's going to strengthen us, and he's going to take us all the way through across the storm. What he did for Paul what he did for all the others that we read in the Bible, what he did for the many people that we hear testimonies of, of how God brought them through, what he did, what he did for me during that span of how many years during the struggles of Margie's uh, accident, uh, Pastor Jimmy's um, battle with cancer until he passed away, and other issues that arose during that time, what he did for me, he will also do for you. Because God has no favorites. He favors all of his children. Just don't let go. Remember his promises. His words are so assuring. He says, don't be afraid. He also says, I am with you. God says, don't be afraid, for I am with you. I hope that you are encouraged. I know that many people at the moment, because of stories and testimonies, and prayer requests that I read and hear. I know that many of you are facing things in life and it could feel overwhelming, overwhelming. And you may feel that you're not gonna make it, but God promises, he says, don't be afraid, I am with you. He will take you all the way through. He will make sure that you cross the storm and make it through the storm victoriously. Again, I hope that you are encouraged. And if you got encouraged, I'm going to encourage you, share this video with other people so that they too can be encouraged. God bless you and have a great week. I'll see you Wednesday. I'll also see you Sunday. Join me in prayer.
Father, we come before you this day. Thankful for your word. Such an encouraging word. That you never leave us. You never forsake us. Such an encouraging word, Lord God, that you tell us to not be afraid no matter what the circumstances or situations may be. You tell us don't be afraid for you are with us. And so, Father, we thank you that you are with us, that you will take us all the way through. Father, I just pray for those right now, Lord God, that are going through difficulties in life. Whether that be spiritual battles, mental battles, physical battles, Lord God, emotional battles, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you would get them through, Lord God, because that is your promise, Lord. So, Father God, I pray, Father God, blessings upon each one, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, the joy of, your, the, joy of the Lord, that your joy be our strength, Lord God. Again, Lord God, as we go through this struggle, I pray that at the end, Lord God, of every struggle, at the end of every storm, Lord God, that we will always remember to give you glory and honor. We love you, Father. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So again, I, I know you were encouraged. I just pray that you were encouraged enough to want to share this video with someone else. So God bless you. Have a great week. And always remember that God is and will always be good. God bless you.